Hey what's up guys this is Akshay and welcome back to another tech tips video In this video we are connecting the Philips smart Wi-Fi LED bulb 9 watt with the Philips Wiz app So I will show you step by step guide to pair this device with the Wiz app because the pairing process is not simple and automatic process pairing process doesn't work Also we're going to show you how you can set up Google Assistant and Alexa with this device so you can do like this Hey Google turn the lights on Got it turning the AA27 on. Hey Google. Turn the light to white. All right, changing the AA27 to white. So, what are you waiting for? Let's get started. Shall we? So first of all you have to uh, put this in the socket uh, now this is the E27 bulb uh, you have also a B22 option so this is the E27 bulb and i bought this separately this is the lamp so i will uh, also up update about this why i bought this and how uh, and from where i got it in the full review video so for now uh, let's accept the terms and conditions in the uh, wiz app so let's read it full and we'll have knowledge uh, so now first of all when you open any app or any home app you need to create a home so uh, we're gonna click say let's create home i think i have a account so you can sign in with that as well or you can just create an home account so as you can see akshay's home is there because they've already signed it so when you sign in for the first time i've asked you to create a home you just name anything and you will get to this page which is the home so this is Takshi's home. So I only have one bedroom here. So I'm gonna name it normally home. You can keep, you can have names like the bedroom, kitchen, and stuff. In that way, you can connect multiple devices. Uh, now, in order to put this in pairing mode, uh, first you you have to do is you have to turn on off this device three times. Okay, turn on off this three times. You can either do it from the power uh, power cable, like spike card, if, if you're connected through that. Or you can directly do if you are connecting to the ceiling. You, 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 of course, you have a button. So just turn on off that button three times. So one, two, and three. When you get to the pairing mode, you can see the color is changing. You will get multiple color lights. It means now you are in the pairing process. So now you can go ahead in the app and add a device. When you add in the device, you see lights. Uh, Optimax location is required for pairing. Okay, no issues. So let's allow all the time. Turn the Bluetooth on. So now it will scan. Also, it will ask you for Wi-Fi password because this will connect to the Wi-Fi so in order to turn uh, on automatically and able to be controlled through the Google Home and Alexa. So I will put my password. So as you can see, running test. So it will check the Wi-Fi whether anything is blocked by a firewall or not. Uh, generally, it's not. But uh, as you can see, refreshing time via NTP server. So these are all the stuff which is required. Uh, now probably doesn't matter because I have actually uh, have a firewall in my Netgear router. That's why all stuff won't be green here. So that's not an issue, but uh, it should work automatically. So let's see, proceed anyway. Uh, now 2.4 gigahertz is required. So I have 5 gigahertz connected right now, which won't work with this device. Uh, so let's let's use smart pairing which is the automatic process but before for that you need to connect to 2.4 gigahertz so let's go ahead normally let's connect to 2.4 gigahertz first and see whether the automatic pairing process works or not so i will connect to 2.4 gigahertz okay now smart pairing as you can see now start now this should ideally work but when i bought this device for the first time it didn't work for me and that was a mess it should work uh, of course uh, MI also has an MI LED bulb and I'm pretty sure their app will be better in this case of course Philips Hue is also well known so their app also be good but this is a low end Philips device so I think they paid a little less attention and stuff as you can see it's half the time passed and it still det didn't detect it light it should do okay well, let's let's wait for that. Let's let's wait. Of course, talking about this LED light, I won't talk much about, but I will do it in full review. But to glimpse, this is very nice for the price of nine hundred rupees. The colors, the the response time, 
and the brightness is A+. So that's why I went with Philips because it's a well-known brand and of course you get more warranty than Xiaomi bulb. So they have it. So you can see time has been passed and it's still not detecting the device which is not good. So power off the lights, quickly power them on three times, your light should be pulsing. Now it's already pulsing but it's not detecting. Uh, so my lights are pulsing. So it's still searching for the light. Okay, so as you see, we are sorry, no light has been found. This is not fair, come on, this is a Philips brand and we can't expect this thing with it. So let's try the manual pairing. So in manual pairing, you, basically what you do is you go to the Wi-Fi app and connect to something called Wi-Fi config XXX. So basically this acts as a hotspot. So you can find this light as a hotspot in your Wi-Fi app. So let's go ahead and find one. So as you can see, this config S568. So this is actually this Wi-Fi device which is acting as the hotspot. Uh, once we are connected, of course they were born to be in an internet. But now, the light is trying to connect to the Wi-Fi as you can see. Now it will send the Wi-Fi information to the device and that device will communicate with your Wi-Fi router. So now it's passing all the information and voila. Error connecting to Wi-Fi. Your Wi-Fi could not be found. Please select a Wi-Fi to connect to the light. So let's see connect. Let's try again. Proceed anyway. So let's start manual process around this time around. Okay, next. Start. Now let's go here and connect to the Wiz app. Connected, no internet. Sending credentials, light is trying to connect to the Wi Fi. Registering the light on a cloud, and as you can see, on third, on second attempt, it's successful. So this shouldn't be even with manual setup. It didn't work on first time, and it worked with second time. And there is a possibility that I might enter the five gigahertz password. That's why this happened. But if you have two point four gigahertz Wi-Fi only, one Wi-Fi only, then this won't be an issue. And as you can see, all done. So now Wi-Fi is set and it's on warm white as you can see. Uh, as you can, you can see the device right now, it's just kind of connecting it. And you can see the tick here which means it's got connected. Now we can actually reduce the brightness as, as we want. Let's reduce to minimum. And we can change the colors as well. And this app is very nice. We have a really cool modes uh, as well as uh, this is a nice feature which is a club feature. As you can see, light colors is changing right now. And this is a, this is a bit so. And you can turn the color to be fastening. So as you can see, when you increase this, the uh, color changing is fast now. Whereas if you reduce this, the color changing will be slow. Now you can't see this on camera because it's too bright. And I have my camera light as well. So that's why all colors are coming same. Well, it has really good colors, that's what Philips is known for and that is the reason why I went with device. For color and for warranty, I am sure they won't be an issue, but the pairing, pairing process should be really smooth. This is not how it should be. So anyways, uh, we are for your rescue, so we have set up successfully. Now also you can, if you haven't signed in at earlier, you can sign in through the settings uh, in the Viz app, so it will register your device and you have all everything stuff. Uh, as well as you can have really nice color, custom color. So you have the whole color palette here with the 16 million colors. Uh, so you can actually control it the way you want. As well as you can increase the brightness. Also you have a night mode here. So this is useful in night. As well as you can turn off light off. So pretty well. Also you have an option to set up the custom mode. So as you can see room mode. So every time light is turned on, say for example one time, then cool light will glow. If if you turn on of the button two times, then this light will glow. Then three times cozy light will glow. So you can actually change this as you can see. So first is cool white. So I have set this up already so it's synced to the cloud. So once you sync to the cloud, everything is here. So let's let's go ahead and if you turn it off. 
and you turn back on you can see it actually start with cool white now let's do cozy so two you can see warm white and when you turn on three times you have cozy white and when you turn on fourth time you get the relax mode so this is a very nice feature so if you don't want to always to control through through this app you can use it and that's a killer feature in my opinion also you have fading options you can transitions and you have this click which is the same thing i told you about so overall nice app uh, i actually uh, like the app the response time is very good as you can see but the pairing process man can be really better philips hue is known for that thing only that's why they have the separate premium bulbs and this is the lower end bulbs uh, now now let's go ahead and pair it with the google assistant in alexa so how you do so so first of all you need to download the google home app which is here right here you can download it from play store just the way how you do with the visa uh, once you do uh, you have to again add a new home which i already did and you have to just click add a device here okay uh, set up a device set up a new device in your home which will basically search for devices which won't work in this case so we have to instead use have something already set up okay and here you can find this option or else you can just search for this you'll find the device i will ask you to sign in uh, with this device uh, sign in with this account so make sure you have created the viz account the uh, my google account is already linked with the viz account so it's already showing up and my device automatic comes in the uh, google home map so it's not like just a button to configure it you need to download the google home set up a new home add a device and have you choose this option if you choose this option it won't detect your device and won't work but if you choose this option i have something already set up and you have all the vendor list and you can search for this don't search for philips because philips is separate if i search for philips i will see philips who is he is separate but you have to search for this and make sure you created the viz account uh, in the startup so this makes it easy and now google should work hey google turn the lights on Okay, turning the AA twenty seven on. Hey Google. Okay Google. Change the color to green. Okay, changing the AA twenty seven to green. Okay Google. Reduce the okay Google. Reduce the brightness to fifty percent. Setting brightness. Okay, so I think it did my phone brightness. Uh, okay, Google, turn the brightness to seventy percent of the light. All right, setting the AA twenty seven brightness to seventy percent. Okay, as you can see, so it was already fifty percent. So I added fifty percent, so it became hundred percent, and now it's seventy percent. So there you have it. Uh, now we will link Alexa. I have not linked Alexa right now, so this would be a fresh setup. Which will help you to do so. So let's go to uh, Alexa app. So again, you have to download the Amazon Alexa app here. Right, so let's sign in. Okay, guys. So I have signed in with my Google account. So you can talk to Alexa as well as you can with this device. So I have signed on with the Alexa. This is my Alexa, which is also connected to my Fire TV stick. So let's go ahead and add a device here. Skills and games. And here I think we can search for the skill to control the visa. As you can see, this smart home. The ultimate light experience now controlled by a voice alone. This is a plug-in smart lighting setup on the Wi-Fi network. So let's use the skill first. Again, okay, the Wiz app. Go to settings, integration, and enable access for Alexa. Okay, in the Wiz app, go to settings, and enable the access for Alexa. Okay, as you can see, so link my account. 
again we need to sign in here uh, once you sign in you will uh, allow the permissions here so now account is linked three devices discovered okay so now I actually automatically de detected my device as I linked my Viz app so as you can see it's on it's off so it's working so all you have to do is just link the account and I think you can do that from the Viz app as well which will be the easy process in my opinion rather than downloading the apps but I think you need apps so that's that's much better control over it so let's go to the Viz app here you can link even IFTT and IFTT enables very 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 different things uh, you can do a lot of automation stuff with the IFTT so Samsung smart things is also here there's a lot of options so that's nice but the pairing process should work now let's test Alexa turn the lights on okay Alexa is faster than Google change the color to yellow did you mean AE27 yes okay Alexa is smarter than Google, of course, because Google actually results will give search results if this happened. But Alexa was smart enough to detect that you were talking about the A27. Good. So if you have multiple bugs, uh, Alexa will be your rescue because she will ask which device you want to talk about. So overall, I like this. The, the main aim of this serves the purpose. So the brightness, the contrast, full review is coming soon. I will share more stuff in why I bought this. Uh, lamp kind of stuff so i will tell you all about that so hope you like this video hope this was useful to pair your uh viz devices uh so thanks for watching we'll catch you in the next video bye bye now